All right, welcome to our first movement class. All you're going to need today is a chair and a yoga mat. Every week we'll go through 15 minutes of full body dynamic warmups using your body weight. And then we'll go through a new routine of about mm, 10 to 15 different body weight exercises. Make sure you always have a chair and a yoga mat available. They may, we may need other things each week, like a towel or something like that, but I'll let you know each week what we need. So let's go ahead and get started so we get you out of here in 30 minutes. Let's get started with the hands at the waist. We're going to go on our toes, come back on the heels, lifting those heels straight up and down, making sure the ankles don't bend up. Give me three, two, and one. Relax. Now let's bring those feet apart. Arms are wide, hips are forward, and remain forward as we rotate at the torso. Hips stay forward, and we're moving everything that's located above the belly button. One more set. And relax. Now we're going to work on our squatting form. Our feet are going to come out in front of us. Feet hip width apart with the toes to the front corners of your room. We're going to push our hips back and down, just like we're sitting in a chair. Hips come back and forward. Hips come behind and down, body weight in the heels. Hips back and forward. Give me two more. One more. All right, now we're going to challenge our balance. We're going to squat and kick across the body. Squat and kick. Shin and calf stay perpendicular to the ground. One more each side. And relax. Now bring your hands to your waist or behind the back, behind the belly button. We're going to warm up our quad as we do a little bounce and kick. Lifting the heel to your bottom. Pushing the hips forward in the front to activate that quad. Give me three, two, final set, and relax. Now we're going to challenge our balance laterally. We're going to take a wide step, kick with our opposite foot, right across those feet, and then try to tap the toes. Come up through the heels. Let's take that to the other side. Hips come back, hips come forward, trying to keep those feet flat as you hinge forward at the waist. Give me one more each side. And relax. Now, let's work on our balance, open our hips some more. Body weight goes in the left foot. Right foot's going to move around the body. Make sure you have plenty of room in all directions. We're going to bring that foot forward and down, corner and down. Bring it wide. Now take it to the back, corner and now to the back. Let's repeat back there. Back, corner again as we work our way back around. And finish in front. Now your body weight's shifting to that foot. Other foot's going to move. Let's bring it forward and corner. Out wide. Back corner and back. Again to the back while you keep your shoulder, hip, and heel stacked on the opposite side of the body. And finish in front. Now we're gonna go into a thinking exercise. We're gonna bring our feet hip width apart with the toes out. We'll do the arms and then at the lower body. We're reaching up with both arms, bringing them forward and down. Hips come back and down into a squat. Hold that, reach with one arm, other arm joins, and then stand tall through the heels. Let's do that again. Forward, down, hips back and down. Reach, extend and rise, making sure your knees don't come forward or wide. 
You want to feel this in your glutes in the back, not as much in the quads in the front. Last one. And relax. Now we're going to get warmed up this afternoon with jumping jacks or modified jacks, which I'll be demonstrating for 30 seconds. Ready and go. Fingertips reach all the way over the head. And then they return to your side, chest towards the knees. With those full jacks, your toes are leaving the floor. Give me five, four, three, two, one. And relax, catch your breath, rolling those shoulders to the back. As you inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. And now let's reverse that. Five, four, breathe in and out one more. And relax. Now let's warm up our shoulders, tone our underarms. We're gonna bring our feet apart. Arms come wide and we're gonna make small circles towards the front of your room for about 30 seconds. If you can't quite do 30 seconds today, that's just fine. Rest those hands at home and join me again when you're ready. Your shoulders are back here. Your chest is forward. Your core is tight in the front. Rear is tight in the back. Give me five, four, three, two, one. And lower to your side. Hands come wide again. We're going to go in the other direction now. Same great posture while you're here. Drive those heels to the floor and hold the head high. Big breath in, long breath out for 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. We're going into shoulder shrugs next. You're driving those shoulders to the ears and then pushing the palms to the floor. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Arms come wide again. We're going to go into over unders. One hand is on top, and then we're switching. Hands come behind the back as you squeeze your shoulders together. Give me four, three, two, and Hands come down now. Bring the arms forward with the palms together. If you have shoulder limitations, meet me down here at 90 degrees. We're going to open and close. Squeeze and clap. Exhale and inhale. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and relax. We're going to go into windmill snaps, bringing one arm across your body and out. Now switch arms. Now let's do both arms. Center, up, and out. Again. Switch, and both. Embracing some shoulder rotation here. Final set. All right, stand tall, hands at the waist, hips stay forward as we move laterally at the neck. We're going to go to the side, come back to center, other side, and at center. Eyes move with the nose. Give me one more. All right, now let's take that to the ceiling and the floor. Up high, down low. One more. And now gently roll that neck out in a full or a half circle. This should feel good. Don't push into pain. And then reverse that. And relax. Now, let's grab some water. Grab your yoga mat. We're going to go down there and go into a plank for 30 seconds. So start on your hands and your knees. We're going to stack our palms or our elbows underneath our shoulders, knees and feet hip width apart. We're going to either extend the legs and go on your toes 
or you're going to join me on the hands and knees for 30 seconds. We're going to go to your position in five, four, three, two, one. I'm bringing those knees back and the feet up, pushing the hips forward and down. If you're on the knees, those hips are between the knees and the shoulders. If you're on the toes, the hips are between the heels and the shoulders. We're pushing down with our palms or our elbows, up with the shoulders, squeezing your shoulders together in the back and drawing the chin to the chest. We don't want that upper back to round. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and lower to the mat. Let's point our toes and stretch it out in cobra, plant the hands, slowly extend the arms and stretch out the back up here. Or if your back is tight this afternoon, Join me on the elbows. Four, three, two, and one. Now let's shift up and back into child's pose, bottom reaching your feet, and stay low in the back as you draw those knees wide and extend the arms, and then finally lower the head. Four, three, two, one, and exhale. Now join me back in the quadruped position. You're on your hands and your knees. Those limbs are wide. We're gonna go into a balance and coordination exercise next called the bird dog. We're extending opposite arm, opposite leg, returning wide at center, and then switching. Again, opposite arm, opposite leg. Those limbs are fully extended. Your foot is Flex and you're pushing the heel straight back to engage your glute. And that foot is lifting no higher than the back, no lower than the back. Chin is to the chest. And you're looking down at the mat. Let's do one more together and then we're going to get you on your back. And relax. Now let's finish off our warm up on the back. We're going to finish with some glute bridges. Legs are bent, feet are flat at the floor, heels underneath the knees, fingertips at your feet. Drive the heels down and push the hips towards the heels and the ceiling, hips towards the heels and down. Hips leave your body and lift, hips leave and lower. Focus on that arcing movement instead of lifting the hips straight up and down. At the top, you want to be able to draw a line, shoulders through the hip bones, down to the knees. That's going to make your back straight. Don't let the knees move forward or wide. You're inhaling up, exhaling down, Give me two more, and then we're holding your best bridge. Let's do that here. Hips high, glutes tight. Heels down, bring those toes up in your shoes. Pull for five, four, three, two, one. Release and lower yourself to the mat. That's the warm up we'll be doing every week. Now let's get started with some fun stuff. We're going to grab some water. Then you're going to grab a chair and you're going to join me in your seat for a series of posture and back strengthening exercises. This is going to be a nice midday desk break, bringing our body back into proper alignment. So this is how we should be sitting all day. Shoulders over the hips, knees over the heels. Hands are at our side with our palms facing behind us. You're going to need room next to you and over your head as we're moving the arms in a variety of positions. We're starting down here as we push straight back and forward. Bring them back and forward. Exhale, inhale. Give me two and one. Relax. Now slide the hands a little wider. We're pushing back and forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Open the chest. Give me two and one. Relax. Now turn your wrists so your palms are facing forward. Arms come out to a T. We're coming back and forward. Bring them back and forward. Exhale, inhale. Two 
and one. Rest those hands in your lap. Now we're gonna return to that T position, make a fist, pop your thumbs out, and then rotate the shoulders so the thumbs are facing behind you. The thumbs come back, fist forward. Thumbs back, fist forward. Exhale, inhale, two, and one, relax. Now, bring those arms over the head, soft bend in the elbows. Hands and elbows come back and forward, behind the head, in front. Give me three, two, and one. Relax. Now, let's return there. Take a fist, pop those thumbs again, and point them to the back. We're bringing them back and forward, hands back and forward, elbows back and forward. Give me two and one, relax. Now, bring your arms to a 90 degree bend, palms facing forward, hands and elbows come back and forward, squeeze in the back, open the front, give me two and one, relax. Now we're gonna return there, finish with that fist and your thumbs behind you. Bring them back, forward, poke them back and forward. Three and two and one, relax. Now we're gonna work our legs and our quads from the comfort of our chair. We're gonna scoot all the way back in the chair. We're seated tall with the shoulders over our hips, not relying on your back rest. You want your thighs to have as much contact with the chair as you can, and your hands are in your lap applying downward pressure. We're gonna go into alternating seated leg extension here. Try to fully extend those legs, keeping the knees in place in front of your hip bone and keeping the thighs on the chair. You're exhaling out, inhaling in. Notice how as you extend those legs, that's gonna naturally engage the core. So pull that belly button to the spine. And now make yourself work a little harder. Apply more pressure to those legs. Good, give me 10 and eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax. Now we're gonna build on this. We're gonna go into alternating seated leg extension. We're going to sit to stand squats, basically using only those heels and the glutes to stand up and trust yourself as you return to the chair. Seated leg extension. Use those glutes and the heels to stand tall and lean back as you sit down. Try your best to keep those shoulders over the hips through both parts of the movement, taking pressure off your knees and your quads in the front of your body, and trying to use your posterior chain, those glutes and hamstrings in the back. Give me one more set. And Relax. Now, we're gonna put that chair aside. We'll bring it back in a moment. We're gonna work the arms and the shoulders now. We're gonna go into a split stance with our front leg bent, back leg straight, just to take pressure off our back. And we're gonna bring our arms laterally, bring them forward and down. Lateral arm raise, forward extension, and then lower them to our side. You can have a palm or a fist out here. Make sure your elbows are softly bent, especially as you come forward. So slight bend in those elbows here. And those fists lift no higher than the shoulders. Give me three more. Last two. Last one. And relax. Now, we're gonna bring our feet hip width apart and our arms at our side at 90 degrees in this L shape. We're gonna do a lateral lunge. And then once we get comfortable with that, we're gonna add a runner's raise, working the shoulders. So we're gonna take a wide step to the side. Body weight's in that moving foot as you push the hips back and around. And then 
then push those uh, that heel back to center. Body weight's in your moving foot here. Knee shouldn't pop over the toe. Knee should remain over the heel. So really focus on the movement of your hips here, pushing them back and around. One more. Now, with this next one, we're gonna lunge and then we're gonna scoop elbows in front of the shoulders, bring them back, push back. Other side, lunge, runners raise. Inhale down, exhale back. Give me one more here and push back. Now, let's pull that chair back up just to support us while we challenge our balance here. We're gonna go into standing leg flexion. Shoulders over the hips, over the heel. Body weight's gonna go in the left foot and you're gonna have your left hand on the chair for support. Thighs stay parallel as you bring that right heel to your bottom and then back down. Flexion, extension. Don't let your knees come forward. If you look down, those knees should be level. Hip bones should be level and thighs should be parallel, making an equal sign. Push those hips forward to get the most out of this movement. Give me three, two, one, and relax. We'll do the other side in a moment, but first we're gonna go into some squatting and holding. We're gonna have our feet at least hip width apart. Toes out to the front corners of your room. We're gonna push the hips back and down into a squat, engaging those glutes and holding for five, four, three, two, one, hips come back and up. Let's do that again. Hips back and down. Five, four, three, two, one, hips back and up. Let's do that again. Shoulders over the hips and they remain in line with the hips as you hinge at the waist. Two, one, hips back and up. Keep the knees over the heels. Let's do that again. And five, four, three, Two, one, and relax. Now, we're gonna do leg flexion on the other side. Body weight in the right foot, right hands on the chair. We're gonna bend that left leg now. Shoulder over the hip, over the knee. Thighs are parallel in that equal sign. Hips are level, knees are level. We're not bringing that moving knee forward. Give me three, two, one, and relax. Now, we're done with that chair, so you can set it aside if you need more space, and we're gonna head down to the floor on our side. Doesn't matter which side you're gonna go on, because we'll do the other side in a moment. I do sideline knee lifts into leg lifts. Make sure your shoulder is comfortable however you're laying here. And then hips are stacked, knees are stacked. We're gonna bend that bottom leg, point the toes on the top foot. We're gonna lift that knee to the chest, go into extension, and then lift high and drop low. Again, bend, extend, lift and lower. Try not to allow your foot to hit the floor. Also make sure your hips stay stacked and don't rotate. Give me two more. Final set. And relax. We'll do the other side in a moment, but before we do, we're gonna go on our back and work the core. We're gonna extend the legs and point the toes, draw the arms over the head. We're gonna do alternating shin taps. So focus on bringing one foot to the ceiling, soft but in the knee, toes pointed. As you lift the head and try to tap your shin, those limbs return to the mat and switch sides. Again, toes pointed like a ballerina, knee softly bent so that your hamstrings are pulled. 
you're pulling the belly button to the mat to secure the torso to the mat, drawing the chin to the chest, and lifting both shoulders four to six inches off the mat. Your head lifts with those shoulders, but you're not bending at the neck. Give me one more each side. And relax. Now we're gonna do an exercise that should feel great on your back. We're gonna go into a glute bridge with an overhead reach. So we're gonna bend our legs, heels underneath the knees, fingertips start at your feet. We're gonna push our hips away and up into a glute bridge. And then we're gonna bring our fingertips to the knees, up to the ceiling, and then eventually over the head as we keep those hips high. Now keep those hips high as you reverse the arms. And don't lower the hips or the bottom until your fingertips come to those knees again. And now everything can lower to the mat. Again, hips away and up and reach. Let's keep those hips high, rear tight as we reverse that. Give me three more. Last two, you're inhaling up and exhaling down. Give me one more. And release and lower. Now we're gonna finish on our other side for those sideline knee lifts into a lateral leg lift over here. Again, shoulder is comfortable. Hips are stacked, knees are stacked. You're bending that bottom leg, pointing the toes on the top foot. That knee is coming to the chest, going into extension, and then we're lifting high and lowering just off the floor. Bend, extend, and lift. Again, no rotation in the hips or the torso. Give me three more and then we're stretching. Two more. Final set. Breathe in and out. That's all I have planned for you today. Take your time coming to your feet and then we'll stretch it out up top. All right, yeah, on your feet, let's bring those feet wide. Hands come together in front. We're gonna push our hips forward and reach out in front. Palms are facing you. Now, if you don't have shoulder limitations, you're gonna bring those arms over the head, palms facing the floor. Body weights in the heels as we go into a deep lateral bend here. Make sure you're not pushing into pain. And now your core aligns those joints back at center. We're going to go deep to the other side. And stack those shoulders back over the hips. Now let's stretch out those hands, turn the wrists, and gently push forward. And if you're able to, bring those palms up. Feet come together, drive the heels down and tilt the head up as you push in both directions for four, three, two, one, exhale and release. Now you're either gonna push your palms behind you or those hands are gonna join behind the back. We're gonna come forward into a flat back as those hips come forward. And then tuck your chin in as you drop the head even lower. And then lift the hands as high as you can at home. Four, three, two, one, exhale and rise. Now let's stretch out our shoulders. We're gonna bring one arm across our chest. Other hand comes underneath and in to support that arm. The hand is placed above the elbow and below the shoulder. And relax. Let's take that to the other side. Nice little hug here for three, two, one and relax. Now let's finish with a nice neck stretch. Let's take our right arm over our head to our left ear if you're able to reach it there. 
Gently drop your right ear to your shoulder and then gently drop the left shoulder to the floor. Three, two, one, relax. And let's finish on the other side. Gently drop that ear and then the opposite shoulder. Hold for three, two, one, and relax. Thanks for taking a break for yourself today and joining me for a few moments. I appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week for something new. Bye-bye.